Hi, this is AD Boris here for CG Masters, and today I have for you a mini tips tutorial about five little known, or at least not commonly used anyway, tricks in Blender's Outliner. Number one is drag and drop parenting. Here I've got this cube, I'd like to parent it to this torus. One way I could do is obviously shift select them and use control P, or we could left click on the mesh symbol itself and then just click and drag and we get this little drop to set parent. So I'm just gonna let go now. The cube is now a child of the torus and so comes along for the ride. And if we just expand the torus there, we can see the cube is safe and snug inside. To release it from the torus's grasp, what we can do is just left click on the cube there and then just drop to clear the parent and then it will snap back into its alphabetical position. Number two is the toggle of the edit mode, which isn't a particularly glamorous tip, but nevertheless it's something that we can achieve here so if we just expand the plus icons and the hierarchies of various objects that we have in the scene here you can get to see their associated data properties and this torus has this torus data associated with it the mesh data and so what we can do is just click on that and we can see we're now in the edit mode for that torus or we could come over to this lamp and uh, that's not necessarily going to do very much but uh, we have this Suzanne model which we could then switch to and then we can click on the Suzanne data again just to toggle back to the object mode. Number three is related to number one this is to do with creating a second outliner which we can just switch our properties window here to another outliner and now we can actually drag and drop between these and so that becomes useful when we have all these objects here and let's say uh, duplicate them a few times. So we've got quite a lot to sort of scroll through in our outliners. If we've got a massive scene with tons and tons of stuff in here and we're looking for something in particular. So uh, we have this Taurus 005 and maybe we wanted to uh, set the parent of this cube there and we're not entirely sure where they are in our scene. We can click on the cube and then set the parent to this Taurus 05. And now we can see if we select Taurus 05, it's all parented and ready to go. Number four is that not only can we drag between two different outliners, but we can also drag from the outliner into the 3D view with varying results. So for example, what we can do is we can take this cube, for example, and then left click and drag into the 3D view and we'll add another cube into that position. And we can do that with whatever we like. So let's add another lamp. Also, what we can do is we can take this cube here and do the same thing with materials. So let's grab click and drag from that material onto this object and then now that has turned blue as well. Number five is that we can now click and drag to toggle the status of large groups of objects. So in this case, the visibility in the 3D view, we can of course do that for the selectability and the renderability as well. So that's all for now, just a few outliner tips. Hopefully something in there was fresh or at least a nice reminder. Uh, so thanks for watching, bye for now and see you next time.